Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm with my son, my nine-year-old buddy here. Uh, the last video, we went through almost all of my handbags and I asked him a series of questions, but I think he got stumped. So it was his idea to do this video where we will compare two bags at a time and he will choose the winner of the two. So we'll keep going through a few rounds just to get a perspective from a nine-year-old on some of these handbags just for fun. So here we've got the Chanel Classic Flop in the medium size beige Claire caviar with gold hardware. And then here we've got the Lady Dior in the small size in the blush color with the champagne gold hardware. So which of these two do you like, honey? Why don't you go ahead and inspect them? Well, I like both, but this. You like both so far, huh? Is there a color that you prefer? Oh. And it has all sorts of charms, like ch some charms here, some charms here. Yes, so the Lady Dior, this is the My ABC Dior, and it does come with three customizable charms. And of course, you have the classic D, I, O, and R charms um, on the front of the bag. So, because of that, you like the Dior bag better? Wow, okay, so we have got a clear winner. That was a clear yes. Lady Dior ahead of the classic flap. Wow. Chanel fans out there, are you in shock? <laughs> okay, how about if we compare... Can you grab those two bags over in the corner? I'm going to do... Yeah, so Givenchy Antigona Mini in the sugared goat skin. Beautiful camel color. And then my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the monogram. Okay, so why don't you take a look? I have a feeling this is going to be tough. Tough, huh? Mm -hmm. Why is it tough? I, I said I have a feeling it's going to be tough. Okay. Do you like that zipper? Yes. Okay. Oh, let me remind you. Remember this? Yes. The strap. Do you, do you remember these parts? No, remember we were walking and you got your hand got oh, scraped? Yeah. Just wanted to remind you, I know you don't like those pointy studs. <laughs> yeah, there are some compartments. So there's the main compartment and then there's the... Yeah, there's the back zipper on the Pochette Matisse. Here's two pockets here. Yes, three sections. A lot of us love that it's so well organized. Ooh. Which one is the winner? Okay. Pochette Matisse. Matisse is the winner, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mostly of the studs. Oh, you don't, yeah, I had a feeling if I reminded you about the studs on that bag. So what if the studs were not there? What if it was just a comparison of these two that without the straps? It wouldn't be the same bag, but what would you would you still pick the Pochette Matisse? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's put the strap back inside. I will. So I'm going to make a pile or a grouping here of the winners and then the losers. Okay. So how about harsh them? Um. The A team and the B team. Okay. Okay, how about. Can you grab that one there? I'm gonna grab. Yeah. That's the Louis Vuitton Speedy BB in the lambskin. Do you wanna show everyone? Close up. Okay. So let's compare that one with. The Chanel Classic Flap in the black lambskin. So they're both lambskin, they're both really soft. Why don't you feel them? Tell me which one feels softer to you. <gasps> the Speedy BB feels softer, huh? Wow. And which bag do you like more overall? So this comes out. It's all stuffed. Okay, so we can pull this out. Okay, so that's the select section. Yes. Okay. 
So he's thoroughly examined the classic flap, and now he's moving on to the, oh, there's the Mona Lisa smile pocket. And then there's the Speedy BB, which unfortunately has been discontinued very, very after a very short period of time. It was only available on the market for a very short period of time. What do you think about that one? I think I know my answer now. Okay, which one is the winner? The Speedy BB. <gasps> and why is the Speedy BB the winner? So you like the luggage tag? Yeah. You like the rounded handles? Feels good? Mm -hmm. Like the pockets on the inside? Yes. Wow. Well, the pockets are from... I have an organizer in here, actually, that has a couple of different pockets. So, and then this. Do you like this chain? Yes. Yes? Okay, so, all right, you heard it here. Speedy BB is the winner over the vintage black classic flap. Do you want to close that one back up? Okay, so that goes in the A team pile, and then I'll move this one to the B team pile. So let's do this one. That's the camo skin bag that you were waiting for such a long time for. I know, yes. I was waiting a long time for about a month. Um, this is the one that I pre ordered, the only pre order I ever did with Chanel. It is not camel skin, it's just a camel color, or some people call it caramel. I've been calling it chai latte. It's lamb skin, actually. Is it soft? Reasonably soft. A little, not quite as soft as the Speedy BB, but Wow. So, this bag feels softer to you than... Yes. Yeah. Even well... Bumps, like, oh. Make it feel less soft. The quilting? Uh -huh. You don't love the quilting, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, this one has quilting, too. This is the mini square. So, mini square, mini rectangle. <laughs> the square is in a gold metallic. Of these two, which do you like better? There's honestly not much to compare. Same back flap, same chain, same vintage stuff to the inside. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> okay. So there's a little secret mystery pocket there. Okay. Do you have a preference in the shape of the square or the rectangle? No. Not no. Necessarily. What about the color? The color? Hmm. Color a slight a slight preference, but let's save that until I see the answer. Okay, we'll save that. My son is very thorough. If you watched the previous video, I had mentioned that he's quite pensive and observant and sometimes very philosophical. Um, so the only thing that I can judge on is the shape. Just the shape? Okay. Which one do you prefer? I'm going to say the caramel colored one. You like the caramel colored one? Good yeah. choice. Oh, I got all <laughs> twisted. Yeah, good choice. This bag is loved by many. So this is the winner between the two minis? Yes. Okay. And thank you for cleaning up my mini square in the meantime. Let's put this in. And then we've got a couple more comparisons. I don't know. Huh? Then we move on to the next round. Yeah. I don't know if this is fun for you, but it's fun for me. <laughs> it's fun for me. It is? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. How about this one here? My Saint Laurent Toy Lulu. Oh. Oh. Why do you say oh? I have a feeling this one's gonna win. My kids do love this bag. They call it the pillow bag. Why do you call it the pillow bag? Because it's so mushy. Mushy and smushy, right? Mushy like a pillow. Yeah. And then this one is the Coach Rambler 16. I think I did a comparison video. Of these two, it was requested a while back. If I can find it, I will link it up above. Um, they're both mini bags. They're fairly similar in size, and they're both black. So which one would you say you like better? And I think this is the one that was viewed as too small in the other video. Yeah, you did mention in the last video that you felt this was too small for me. Do you feel like this looks a little bit bigger? Yes, because of its poofy. Oh, because of the poofiness. Okay. Ah, okay. 
Good point. Does anyone else have a feeling that the toy really is going to win? I hope you guys can all hear my son okay because the microphone is facing only this way, my way. But he's speaking pretty loud and clear. But you're saying the toy Lulu is most likely going to win? No, I'm asking anyone. Do you, does anyone else have a feeling that the toy Lulu is going to win? Huh. Comment down below if you think the toy Lulu will win. Try to take a guess, or right? Or is it just me? Is it just you? Toy Lulu, well that wasn't a surprise. <laughs> so why'd you choose this one? Why? Mm -hmm. Well this one has more compartments. It does. For one thing. It does. Lots of compartments. And it's poofy. And it's poofy, we love the poofiness. And another thing, this thing is just, it seems so small. This one seems small. Mm -hmm. It is quite mini. Mm -hmm. This is the, probably the cheapest or most affordable designer handbag that I own. I did a video on that. Yeah, yeah I like this bag. Okay, so you link it below. I will link it. I'll link it. Thank you. All right, so we are down to five bags. Five bags. All right, let's take this mama jama here. We Boom. Bag. Well, let me figure that part out. Um, I'm not going to use this one, so oh, okay. we'll have to have okay. evens. So here we go. Jumbo, single flap, okay. okay, black caviar, silver hardware, you want to pull the uh, chain out, there you go, and then here is the Celine classic box bag, there you go, and I would love your impressions, sir. You like that clip? Yeah, lots of compartments. Oh, looks like the big one is closed. Yeah, there's a zippered compartment. Mm -hmm. Anything back here? No? Yeah, this is quite a large bag. Inside pockets. Hmm. Oh. oh, that's an organizer. You can pull that out. Oh, so it's removable. There can be multiple pockets or? Well, that I purchased separately, so it didn't come with the bag. So essentially, it's just one big old thing. Yeah, one big thing. There's a large zippered compartment on the inside. And there's the back pocket, too. one is the winner. This one. <gasps> really? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm shocked. The classic box from Celine is the winner. Tell me why. Why? Mm -hmm. Well, let, first let me guess why you're surprised. Because I haven't chosen any classics. <laughs> Actually, that's a good point. You haven't really chosen. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'd love to know why. You explain why you chose this one. Okay. And that, this is really just a big old This one? Bag. This is just a big old bag? Yeah. There are no compartments. No compartments, huh? Even though it has a zippered compartment in the back pocket, it's not enough compartments, huh? <laughs> okay. And this one, let's show everyone the compartments so they know what we're talking about here. Very similar to the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. It's like an accordion style, right? One, two, three. Okay. So you prefer that? Yes. Because of the clasp and the compartments? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So the Celine goes in the Team A pile. Put it in the front. I'll put it in the front, okay. Keep it in the front. Okay. Until I, I pick another classic. And this one goes to the back. Wow. Classics getting some shade today. So how about... So they're too much popularity. I know, they're not getting 
much love today. So let's try these two. So here's my sh my Chalene. <laughs> I was gonna say Celine and Chanel together. Chanel walk, right? The wallet on chain and it is the filigree. So it's got the beige caviar with the black trim and champagne gold hardware. And then the one all the way over there that's out of camera shot is the Hermes Mini Eveline. And he's poking around, getting the strap and all the stuff out. Here's the beautiful raw leather on the inside. I think I did a comparison video of these two also um, because it was requested. So I will link that somewhere as well if you are interested in seeing what fits inside each and kind of a side by side. There is the really comfortable cotton uh, band strap that goes on with the mini Eveline. He's hard at work, people. Okay, so have you had a good look at both of them? One, two. Oh, I see. Sneak out. Oh, I think I have my answer. Okay, which one is the winner between these two? This one? Yes. Okay. So you chose the wallet on chain. How come? The wallet on chain because well, it's a little more secure than this one. It's a little more secure. Oh, it's got the magnetic closure. Yeah. Another thing. This one has holes in it. So <laughs> you spray it with the apple guard. Let's say it starts raining. The, the apple guard doesn't matter. It goes in. Okay. So I wouldn't spray my Hermes Mini Eveline leather with apple guard but I know what you're talking about because I did spray my Louis Vuitton Vachetta leather like this kind because it gets stained with water droplets I sprayed this part and some other parts um, but I hear what you're saying there are holes well I was at the playground with you actually and your friend JC hit something with a stick and the mud there was mud on it and it went flying it did, yeah. I never told you guys this story. It was a few weeks ago at the end of the school year and mud came flying towards me and it plopped onto, first of all, it plopped on my head and then plopped on my hands and also on this bag and some little chunks of mud got lodged in the little holes. So I had to take a little stick and like push the dried mud out. Yeah, one on you too, right? So it was fine. We got it out. It, no big deal. It's just whatever but I get your point the holes these perforated this perforated design here with the H they're actual holes like you can see you can see my fingers through them like that so you like that one nope and it is more secure because it has the full closure you're right okay yeah that's true you're gonna clean that up for me We've got one final pairing and then we will be done. And then I want to get and then we're gonna go on to round, two. round two. I'm going to have you compare all the winners from round one because I want you to pick a, basically the grand, the grand winner, the final winner. So last pairing we have is the Chanel wallet on chain again, but in black caviar with silver hardware. This actually has the older snap model. I think everyone here knows if you've been on my channel before. Still love it, love it, love it. And then, of course, I have to throw in my pochette accessoire. There's some stuff in it, so you can ignore that stuff, honey, okay? okay. And this strap is the longer crossbody Vachetta strap that I got from Dress Up Your Purse. I have a link and a promo code down below if you're interested. It is a great strap that matches perfectly and I like that it's longer crossbody, not like the short one that comes from Louis Vuitton with this. So anyway, let me just put these down. Okay. And why don't you compare those two and then we're going to quickly move on to round two. I do use that very, very frequently. And may I ask a question? Of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a smiley face eraser from your sister. She, she'll probably be looking for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wonder where you got that
Okay, you have your answer, huh? You inspected very thoroughly. Which one of these two is the winner? What do you use most frequently? This one? Is it only because I use it frequently? No. Okay, why? I would say this one has just not the right amount of strength. Too big. Oh. So too small on you. Okay, so he just said the string. The string, meaning the chain, is quite long. It is. It is long, so I do wrap it around, and I also have um, clips that can shorten it. And then the bag itself is kind of small, you said, right? Yeah. I love that it's a small little bag, but I hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So the pochette accessoire is the winner. I do wear that a lot. I wear this a lot, too, but okay. That's why I was tripping when I had closed one eye, trying to figure out the measurements. Ah, I see. Okay, so this is the winner. So let's bring out the winners. I want you to very quickly, this is speed round, okay, since you've had an, you already had a chance to examine them. Okay. okay. Pochette Matisse. Celine Bla Box. Winner. Pick the winner. That's the winner? Okay, so this is out? Yes. Goodbye. Those are two very okay. popular ones between you. Ready? Winner. No, that no, between these two. Okay. This is the winner? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Which one's the winner? That one? This one that survived two rounds. Three, actually. Okay. Winner. <laughs> Ooh, Toy Lulu in it to win it. We've got this speedy BB next to it. Ooh. Uh-oh. This is a tough one for you. Why are you having a hard time? Not quite five years, but yeah, a few years. Definitely have had it for a little while. Not as long. That's true. Well, this bag was introduced earlier, and this one um, was a newer bag, and it's not available for sale anymore. So it's not like I've had this for less time because I didn't like it. It's that it, it was newer. I, I didn't see it until recently. But they're both beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Come on, you gotta pick one. Yeah, you're the winner, so. Toy again? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, oh, wow. My name, no me. Even the came on me. Okay, let's see. I'm pulling this up. Do, 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 do. There he is, my <laughs> son, my headless son. It's over. All right. Okay, good. Sure. Winner. All they're seeing right now is your foot. I have a feeling I know who the champion is going to be, but it's the last bag from Team A, or the first round. And here we go. Mini Caramel from Chanel versus Black Toy Lulu from Saint Laurent. Which one is the final grand champion of all the bags we've seen today? Technically, even if I choose the car Caramel one, technically the Toy Lulu would still win. Why? Yes, but I want to see which one is the best of the best. Mm -hmm. Who is the last bag standing? Mm -hmm. Toy Lulu? <laughs> wow! Toy Lulu is the winner. My gosh, and you're, both your feet are now in the camera <laughs> shot, and that's just your feet. I'm going to move this so it's just the... I don't think anyone wants to see your feet. Look at me, look at me. In the camera on me. <sighs> okay, this is what my boy wants to be showing you guys. <laughs> Okay, go back down. The Toy Lulu, wow. I'm actually really surprised, but also 
happy to see the Toy Lulu as the final grand champion here. Wow, is it all for the smush factor, honey? No. No, it's not just the smush factor? What is it then? Give us three reasons why this is the best bag from my collection. Number one. Poofy. Poofy, okay. Number two. All the sections, the compartments, okay? Mm -hmm. Number three. The strap. The strap. Why the strap? Just the right size. I mean. Yeah, just the right size. Okay. Yeah, it's actually really comfortable. And it doesn't poke me. It doesn't poke you. It doesn't have studs. It's adjustable. Although I have heard recently that they redid, they remodeled the Toy Lulus or the Lulus in general. And I think now the strap is no longer as adjustable and maybe the inside compartments even look different, which is a shame if that's the case because in my mind, this bag is perfect. Just the way it is. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you for this fun and cuckoo video. Any final words for our audience here? Yep. Okay, what do you want to say? Bye.